Go ahead. Okay, here we go again. Today we're going to show you how to put this thing together. If you've ordered one, it may or may not come partially assembled. So we'll assume that it doesn't. This is the distributor. This tube goes down in here, just like so. Now this is already cut to the proper length. Yours might be too long. If so, you need to cut it so that it's flush with the top of the tank. This one is just a tad shorter. I'd rather have it shorter than too long. Okay, once it's cut, we take some tape, just duct tape, or something similar will work. Tear up a small piece, cover the top. This stops us from getting mineral down in the tube while we're filling the tank. And there is a position in the bottom where it needs to go to. If you just spin it, it'll drop down in there. Put your funnel in there, and then you'll need gravel. Gravel is optional. Some units have gravel, some do not. If you have gravel, just get some gravel. Pour the gravel in the tank. I'm not going to put it in this one because we're going to set this one up differently. But we'll pour the gravel in and we'll put enough in there to cover the bottom of this distributor. The gravel should come up to about this level, or a little higher. Okay, once you have gravel inside, then you go with the resin. Scoop the resin up, pour it inside. Now sometimes it's hard to get down the uh, funnel. Maybe a little time consuming to try to shake it and get it in there. Now, once you've got enough resin, for your tank. Take the tape off. Do not pull the distributor up. Just carefully take the tape off and hold down on the distributor. Now we're ready to put the controller on it. This should be greased with silicone grease and silicone grease here. hard to hit because it's short. Okay, once you get this on, screw it on snug. That's tight. This is now ready to go. You can put your bypass and if you have it, a meter and stuff on the back, it just plugs on and tighten the little screws up. Now, when the, brine, when the brine tank comes, most of the time this will be inserted and it'll be assembled. But occasionally you'll get one that isn't. This should be connected. Check this nut to be sure it's tight. A lot of times they'll leave them loose. Okay, then we have a fitting. with which you can fasten this up. It goes into the outside, like so, and then through the hole here. That would be the bottom hole. These are already bored. This also functions as a drain. If you're going to put it inside and it's on a second floor or something like that, it's a safety overflow. In most cases, we just use it to hold the uh, This sits down, and there's a little nut that holds it in place. Snug that up with a pair of pliers, just tight. It doesn't have to be real tight. And then, of course, your brine line goes through here. And then you can connect it to the unit once everything's installed.